Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at alarm clock from Logic 1, and this is the Python solution. So the problem states, given a day of the week, encoded as 0 Sunday, 1 Monday, 2 Tuesday, up to 6 Saturday, and a Boolean indicating if we are on vacation, return a string of the form 7 colon 0, 0, indicating when the alarm clock should ring. Weekdays, the alarm should be 7 o'clock, and on the weekend, it should be 10 o'clock. Unless we're on vacation, then on weekdays it should be 10 o'clock, and weekends it should be off. And we can look at the first example here, one meaning it's Monday, we are not on vacation, so we return seven o'clock. Friday is five, not on vacation, seven o'clock. Zero, which is Sunday, not on vacation, 10 o'clock. So we'll do this a few ways, just to kind of highlight some really nice learning opportunities. The first way I'm gonna do this is with pretty just, just standard if statements. Um, and that's really what this problem is rooted in. So if I check if it's Sunday or Saturday, and then I check if I'm on vacation or not, I can decide what to return. So I'm going to say if day is equivalent to 0 or day is equivalent to 6, and, and then we're going to say if vacation, meaning we're on vacation. Well, if we're vacation, if it's a Saturday or Sunday and we're on vacation, we turn off the alarm clock. Otherwise, we return 10 o'clock. Now, this is a good opportunity to reinforce the idea that as soon as we hit a return statement, we're done. So that's why we don't need to put this second return statement inside an else or an else if. And again, that's why we don't need to put this next part inside another if statement, because if we make it past this first if statement, we know it must be during the week. So we just say if vacation, and if it's vacation, we return 10 o'clock here. Otherwise, we return 7 o'clock. So unfortunately, it's a work day and you have to actually get up. And I hit go, and there it is. So this is kind of what this problem is really trying to see if you understand this idea of using if statements to decide what to return. So our next approach, what we're going to do, is we're going to take advantage of the modulus operator and just kind of talk about that. Well, if I can decide whether it's Sunday or Saturday, I can really quickly go through this. Now, I do this in the first case by checking if explicitly if day is 0 or day is 6. Well, I can also do this. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making two variables. My first variable is going to be called, is going to be called, sorry, weekend. And on the weekend, we're going to assume that the alarm is off and weekday. And on the weekday, if we're on vacation, it's going to be 10 o'clock. So we just have these variables weekend and weekday that store the value we want to return. And I'm going to start off here with a little if statement, and I'm going to say, if it's if vacation is equivalent to false, meaning it's not vacation. Well, if vacation is equivalent to false, what we're going to do is change these because these are set up assuming we're on vacation. And weekend is going to be set to 10 o'clock and weekday is going to be set to 7 a.m. And now I can come down here and check to see if, if whether I'm on Sunday or Saturday or one of the days of the week. And as opposed to doing an explicit check, I'm going to take advantage of modulus. Because if I mod the day by 6, only 0 mod 6 and 6 mod 6 will return 0. So what I can do is I can say if day mod 6 is equivalent to 0, then we know that we are on the weekend. And in that case, we're going to return weekend, and otherwise we're going to return weekday. And if I hit go... I spelled vacation wrong. So let's find that if they, there we go. Let me just pause this and find this. I had to stop and think about it, get it right. I just spelled vacation wrong there, it's correct now. Now before we move on to our last approach, which is a fun approach, let's just take a second and make sure we understand how we can uh, change this a little bit. Remember, you know, if we want to check if vacation is true, we can just say if vacation. But in this case, we want to check if vacation is false. So we can say if not vacation. And that's how you check if vacation is equivalent to false using this shorthand notation. There we go. All right, the last approach. The last approach is just kind of a fun approach. It could be considered a little bit of overkill, but I quite like it because it highlights an understanding about how you can leverage lists. And before we begin, I'm going to pause this and just paste something in here. Okay, so I've made these two lists here, and the first list is called normal day. And what I've done is I've stored in each index in the list um, 
the value I should return. So this would be day 0, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6. And since the list is aligned with the days, I can just use that day value as an index. And then I have a second list called vacation, and I do the same thing. So all I have to do now is decide if I'm on vacation or not, and then based on that I'm going to use the respective list. So I'm going to say if vacation, meaning if I'm on vacation, and all I then do is return vacation day at day. Otherwise I return normal day at day. And I hit go, and there it works. So this is, you know, a little bit of overkill, maybe, but what it does is it highlights a nice way you can use lists. And if you're thoughtful about the list in terms of what the indexes represent, you can leverage that day variable really nicely. One of the things I really notice with students when they start learning how to program and use data structures is they don't think about how they organize their data structure. That is not always a computer science thing. It's just about how you organize and set things up. It's the same thing when you're working with files. If you know in advance exactly how you're going to set the file up, it becomes a lot easier to run algorithms and do various things with them. I hope that helped, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find all my solutions on my GitHub repository, which is linked in the comments below. Have a great day.